What's up everyone, it's Haley, and welcome to Who's In My Bathroom, delivered by GoPuff. We have another situation in the bathroom today, as per usual. I'm very, very excited about this situation because I am an avid grilled cheese lover. So with that being said, please help me welcome my guest, Lily Singh. Hello, hello! Thank you for having me. Welcome to my bathroom. Oh my god, it's just like mine. We were told that you requested grilled cheese, which is really exciting and really fun because I'm obsessed with I'm cheese. I'm also obsessed. Cheese and carbs? How can you go wrong? I have some stuff from Go Puff to just include in case we need more cheese for some reason after we have that whole entire tray of cheese. And we needed a little drink. Also, there's cheeses I don't even know how to pronounce. Kelly got bougie cheeses, y'all. I got her bougie You got cheese. bougie cheese. I was gonna. I thought I was gonna have cheese strings. Literally, you came. You came through. It's good it to, is really good to have. Oh, options. I didn't know what that is. What is that? I don't know. Actually, Ooh. is it mayo? Is this mayo? Mm. You people are sick. Okay. If someone in here can tell me legitimately they put mayo on their grilled cheese, sit, speak now. What? Okay, wait. For everyone watching at home, someone who multiple, I have to assume multiple, multiple, multiple people. people who I have to assume are just sick. I've said that they put mayo on the outside of their grilled cheese. How about butter? Mayo's better. <gasps> How, should we, we try it? it? Should we try this? All, all right, we're going to try it. I'm into all, all right. of it. Let's do Let's it. Let's get started. Ooh! What's your bread of choice, though? What's your vibe? I think I'm going to go sourdough. Okay. I feel like sourdough crisps up really well. I also personally requested sourdough. Can I pass you some sourdough? Please. Okay, okay. I got you. I got these fancy tongs and everything. Ooh, and we have our grilled cheese makers oh, that I'm look gonna throw great. Those your Thank way. Thank you. Okay, well, welcome to the show. Thanks. Thank you for being here. We're gonna make our grilled cheeses and we're gonna have a chat. So, another Canadian. I know you love Canadians. Love a Canadian. <laughs> Say it every time we yes. have a Canadian on the show. <laughs> I just think Canadians are superior, so. You know what, you're not wrong. You're, well, we're identical, because I think I'm also gonna go the cheddar route here. So, how long have you lived in LA? When did you make your transition from living in Canada here? I moved to LA in 2015. And I moved initially because I was flying here pretty often for work anyways, but I just knew I needed to step out of my comfort zone. You know, I, Toronto is amazing. I love Toronto, highly recommend, but it was my comfort zone. Yeah. You know, I wasn't growing. I, I feel like I'd reached the peak personally and professionally and I had to just do something really scary. How's it going over there? Oh, you're doing the mayo. I'm trying it. We said we were trying okay. it. Can you pass the mayo? Yes, I'm oh my God, sorry. No, I should okay. have passed it reminded you. Oh my God, look, you're even apologizing like a Canadian. I had to apologize because we said we were going to do it together and then I went ahead and did it without you. I'm not going to lie. I already see how this might be amazing. So you know what? I apologize. Everybody yeah, I, I think we jumped the gun on that yeah, one and but... it wasn't very nice. What year did you get started on your YouTube journey? I started making YouTube videos in 2010. And that's okay. like, people say it's pretty OG, but there was OGs even before me. But yeah, it was back when people didn't even know what YouTube was and people definitely didn't think it could be a career or you could make money off of it. And when did you feel like it took, like it went from, okay, I make YouTube videos, I make this content to the next place where you were like, all right, this is really turning into something serious. Yeah, you know, it took a long time. I think up until I hit a million subscribers, I still was like, fluke, fluke, this can't be real, this is just, I was so scared because it was yeah. so unheard of and I couldn't look to many other people to be like, this is an example of this working out. When did you feel like you made, cause, cause you don't just do YouTube. So when did you feel like you really made the transition to the next part of your career? I would say the major leap I did was honestly, probably when I got the late night show. That was like the biggest right. deal of like, oh, I'm actually gonna be more on your TV screen now as opposed to like your laptop. I'm not gonna eat it like this. I gotta cut it in half and try to make it work better in the thing. Oh, okay. You know what I'm Is saying? It's not, not really, it's, it's not, not it's not crisping, it's not melting. Oh, it's, 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 it's looking really bad. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the same thing then. I'm gonna cut I'm it gonna in half. I'm gonna cut it into like fours okay. and then try to. I appreciate your commitment to the quality of this though. I literally will tell you the day that show got announced, all of the people I idolized started following me on Instagram. I had DMs from Miley and suddenly Amy Schumer was calling me. It was like, it was like a, no, a like switch overnight. went off and I was like, oh my goodness. So it did wonders for my career, but that experience was so hard. Yeah. It was so difficult to be the first in so many capacities, woman and brown and queer. And then I'll be really honest, anytime I talk about that and I say like queer, brown woman, there's also a gang of people that are also mad at me bringing that up. Yeah. And I've reached a point now where I'm just like, stop telling me what to do. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that authenticity because I think 
you know, from an outside perspective, it can look like, wow, you got this dream opportunity, dream job, your life is amazing. And then to hear you be like, yes, it is all of those things and. But something my therapist says to me is exactly that. It's a quote and I literally have it saved on my phone and it is, and is more likely and more powerful than or. You can simultaneously be like, this is a, such a great opportunity, but like, it is really hard. Yeah. And I'm crying in my green room yeah. and I've eaten my 10th grilled cheese. Right, you know? <laughs> exactly. And I just think, being able to say that out loud, you're kind of taking away this idea that anything is perfect or that you aren't having a real human experience or you don't struggle or you don't cry in your dressing room yeah. when people are saying mean to you. And it's, I just really appreciate that. And I appreciate it, to that. To crying in our dressing rooms from to time to time. To crying in our dressing rooms Sometimes from time you gotta to time. get a good cry in. <sighs> Also, this is a great idea because this is Chris Spay. Did right? you get a piece out yet? I'm very excited to try it. I will say, I thought the mayo was gonna be like all sloppy and gross, but I've actually done a complete Do we have ketchup? Is that crazy? I I, sh I thought you wanted a basic grilled cheese, but I respect But dipping it in ketchup is the best. Okay, I've never tried that, but I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it with you. Try it with me. Wait, wait. Who said the mayo? You need a raise. You need a raise? Cause the Yo. Sorry, I told you. Really? What? Ooh. It gives it a little flavor, too. Cheers. Boom. God, this is amazing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I got a cheese pull. Mm. That's the best. I love it. What is something you're excited about and looking forward to this year? I make a vision board every year. I'm mm -hmm. very serious about my vision board game. Mm -hmm. I've had like four come true. I'm very about that life, but it's a shower. Manifest that baby. No, my vision board's in my shower. Oh, so, it's in your shower. So I see it every day. And what's on it that I'm really excited about is like a range of personal professional goals because I've learned those are not the same thing. <laughs> right. Our professional goals do not make up who we are. Here's, here's a vulnerable one. I have friendship on there because I don't know if you can relate to this, Maintaining a few good friendships in this industry is very tough. And actually, not even in this industry. Let's just, when you're an adult. In life in general. When you're an adult, mm -hmm. it's hard to make friends and maintain friends and all that type of stuff. So friendship is on there. And just professionally, just, you know, world domination. Exactly. Yeah. Just continuing with that one small part. You know why? Because and is more powerful than or. Than or. Anywho. Okay, let me try the ketchup game because. Oh, yeah. You maybe are going to hate me, but okay, I love see. it. You hate it? I do hate it, yeah. <gasps> oh my God! I'm sorry. Do you want to spit it out? No. No, no. I'm gonna eat it. Are you sure? Yeah. It's bad. She's just gonna throw up. <sighs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. Later this year, you are going to be on the Muppets. I know. And how did that come to be? This I'm really proud of because I had to go through the ringer with auditions. So it felt really good to be like, super stressed and trying and like that level of anxiety of like, am I gonna get this? I really want this. And then to actually mm -hmm. get it is really, that's something you don't, I didn't get in the digital space. You know, I never had yeah. to audition for things. And so, and it sounds funny cause that's actually what I loved about YouTube that there was no gatekeeper. I didn't have to audition, but I won't lie, auditioning for something. And after, especially after doing so many auditions and not getting it, mm -hmm. to be like, I've, I've developed my skills and done something right to get this felt really good. So I'm not a Muppet, but I'm the lead human. So is acting something that you're, you've are you been interested in and you want to continue pursuing? It's definitely something I want to do more of. Yeah. Like, I like jumping into another world and kind of taking on a character and studying. I'm a big nerd, I love studying lines mm -hmm. and I love thinking how else could I play this out. So I'm and very excited about it. I'm very excited to see you on the Muppet. Mm -hmm. Anyways, Rihanna. Who? Are we talking about Rihanna? Well, we're talking about you being in the Savage Fenty show. Oh, right. That old thing. That, that did thing. happen. I almost forgot. You that looking I like was... the baddest bitch alive. Real talk, I lost my mind. My publicist sent me an email saying they want you part of the Fenty show. Rihanna hand selected you. That's what I was told. I don't know if that was for my ego. I think that's for sure true. After the mayo, this is the second best thing that's happened today. <laughs> um, yeah, so I went to the shoot and it was phenomenal. First of all, I did my shot at like three in the morning. Beautiful. On top of a real mountain. Beautiful. In my bra. Love. And there was wild animal wranglers. And I was like, what is my life? Yeah. It was such a cool experience. Well, I thought you killed it. Thank you. I watched the show, I saw it. I was basically cool. cosplaying you. I was like, what can I do? Stop. <laughs> I swear. It was amazing. So now, 
Things are about to get a little spicy. Now the friendliness stops. Yeah, now now we're not friends anymore. We're not now friends we're moving at all. on to just you're here and you're my competitor. Absolutely. We're going to play unicorn horn ring toss. 30 seconds per round. Okay. Each round we get further away from each other. All right. The goal is to get as many rings on the unicorn horn as you can. Okay. And the loser <laughs> has to post the winner on their Instagram story with a caption of that person's choice. Ooh. No objections. Interesting. Are you game? Oh, I'm game. Tongue on it. <laughs> weird? So weird. So and weird. I love it. <laughs> Oh. I got it out of here. Where is that going? This could take out my eye. I think throwing multiple is the thing. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. <laughs> A halo for good measure. You got this. You I'm got fine. This. I don't have my glasses on. Sorry. It's okay. It's just my eyes. Frick. All right. Did All right. I hit you in the face? Not at all. Never. Are you lying? Can you do an instant replay right now? One chip in the face. So 20 points for her. Yeah, brace your face. Sorry. <laughs> that was a duck, you saw that. That was a duck. Okay. Horns. Good game. You won. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Gorge. Give. Work. Slay. Yes, mama. All right, I get to pick the caption too? You get to pick the photo. Can you tell me which one is your favorite? You think that's cute? Mm hmm I like the framing of that one too. Okay. Everyone go follow yep. my new friend mm -hmm. at Lily. Lily. Because she is my new favorite Canadian. Because she is my new favorite Canadian. Heart. The red one. Two red hearts. Thank you. Is yeah. that it? The red one is serious. The other colors are garbage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's it? I want you to spell favorite the Canadian way, please. With the U? Yep. yep. U. Yep. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yep. Not only is it right, it's correct. Wow. I'm going to be hearing about that later. Whew. All right, I love there it goes. Oh, thank you. Well, you are a great competitor. You know what, I pre I had a lot of fun. No, I really want to get good at this game. I'm not even joking. Yeah, I'm going to go home and watch YouTube videos, literally. We had a great time. This has been another very fun and funny, chaotic episode of Who's in My Bathroom. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you to Lily Singh for Thanks. being here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Do all of those things. Yes. She said. Did I hurt you? Not at all. Okay. <clears throat> you hurt yourself. <laughs> Ow, fuck my life. You okay? Yeah, I keep doing this with my hand. Uh, what, what does that look like to you? Yeah, oh my god. That That's looks like... That looks like a lunchable. That's a lunchable. Scary. Yeah. So, I, I cannot... <laughs>